welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday, uh, or whatever day it is that you are watching this video. Um, I am on my way to the grocery store right now to pick up a few things for this week. I don't need a whole lot of things because we're actually going to be heading out of town um, this Thursday. We're going to Disneyland and we're taking the kids there. Yeah, I know, I know all the opinions about Disneyland. But anyways, we're going. Um, we're going to have a great time. We've already booked our tickets and our hotel. We rented a car. My sister's going to come with us and, you know, we're going to really enjoy ourselves. But um, before we go, you know, I have a couple meals still left to prepare this week. Um, I'm going to be making some, you know, simple meals. Sloppy Joes with sweet potato fries and maybe some corn on the side. And then I want to pick up a couple of, like, lunch items. I saw on YouTube this mom of... I think six like triplets and then three additional kids um, she had like this genius life hack it's probably not genius I'm, I'm sure that everybody probably already knows and I'm late but it was genius to me that she uh, made these like sandwiches kind of all in one shot and that people could eat throughout the week so I'm going to attempt to do that this week and I'll show you guys how I make them um, but before I get driving and head over to the grocery store uh, something there's something that came up this morning that I wanted to share with you guys so um, yeah like I said it's Sunday we went to church this morning and you know I was in a great mood ready to worship the Lord and there was a woman who came to church and sat right in front of us wearing an outfit that um, I would not have worn to church so you know you can fill in the blank of what type of outfit that could have been and I was tempted to judge her because I felt like this is a distraction um it is irreverent in the house of the lord and blah blah blah. but then you know god reminded me that only he is righteous to judge he's the only righteous judge um no one is perfect all have fallen short and so you know who am i or who are any of any of us to sit and point fingers at each other for one thing or another and you know thank god that is not happening to me here on this youtube platform but i know it happens to a lot of people who do youtube and who are vulnerable and put themselves out there that um they get judged for how they're living their life how they're raising their children um you name it anything and everything is um up for criticism i guess and one, it's not fair, and two, it's not right. So keep that in mind the next time you think about judging somebody. Anyhow, let me head over to the grocery store and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so these are the ingredients I'm going to be using to make these sandwiches. I have some um, real mayonnaise, some of the King's Hawaiian sweet rolls, um, some light cheddar cheese, and apple wood smoked ham. Um, so my kids are pretty picky, but you can choose whatever ingredients you want to use, obviously, if you're working with less picky eaters. Um, so the first thing that I do, I take the rolls out of the bag and out of this cardboard box, which was not as easy as <laughs> it should have been. Um, so I'm just taking the box apart. They're a little, they're moist, so they're a little bit sticky. But yeah, I'm taking the box apart and then I'm going to go ahead and put the box back together when I'm done. So I'm going to save that and put it aside. Okay, so the next step will be to cut this uh, loaf of rolls into half, um, into the top half and the bottom half. And um, pro tip, it is easier to do this with the loaf flat on the countertop or whatever surface you're working on. Um, as you can see, a, I struggled a little bit to do this because I did not follow that tip. But trying to make your lives easier, lay it flat. Still cutting through here. Um, and I'm using a jagged edge knife because it's easier to cut through soft things like bread. Um, and, you know, it just works for me. But I guess you can use whatever you have. It's not necessary to use a jagged edge knife. Just helpful. All right. So I got it mostly through. 
I'm going to finish cutting this in half. Finally figured it out. Lay it down, like I said. Separate the two pieces from each other, the top from the bottom. And you want to make sure that you keep all of the rolls together, pretty much in one piece, in one whole top and one whole bottom half, if that makes sense. So I start with the mayo and I'm just spreading on a thin layer of mayo here. Um, like I said, I have picky eaters and I don't honestly know if they're gonna like mayo, but I'm doing it thin enough that hopefully they won't really notice that it's there. Um, and if they do, hope that they like it. Um, like I said, you can do mustard, spicy mustard, um, mayo I don't know what else what other sauces people can put on sandwiches I'm sure there's a whole bunch so to your liking after I spread that on I'm gonna take the cheese slices and put a couple across I just did one layer of cheese but again to your liking if you like more cheese you can do multiple layers of cheese however you want to do it Pretty sure you all get the picture. Layer it on. I was trying to figure out how to <laughs> best lay the cheese on because the slices were a little bit smaller um, than the size of the total bread. So then I just cut the last one in half to cover those small pieces on the end. And like I said, I cannot take credit completely or at all for this life hack because it was not my idea. I saw another mom do it on YouTube and, you know, we got to learn from each other. It's not about recreating the wheel, right? Make my life as easy as possible. After the cheese, I put the meat on there and that's really all the sandwich has. Mayo, some meat and cheese. And then once you're done with whatever ingredients you're going to be using, you put the top half back on and then you just cut the sandwiches um, along the uh, predetermined lines and you just make your little sandwiches. And this is really helpful, you know, when you're kind of on the go and you need some snacks to bring with you. You can put these in little baggies um, or even when you're in the house and, you know, like if you're like me and you have three children or more or even two children and you got your hands full, lunch is already made and you know you can just take one of these, put it together with some chips or a pickle on the side or some fresh fruit, um, you know, whatever your kids or whatever you like if even you're making these for yourself because I'm not going to lie, I'm definitely going to be eating these sandwiches and I'm sure my husband will eat some as well. And I might even, um, you know, pack them to go on the road this weekend. And once you finish cutting up the sandwiches, you are going to take the original box that they came in and place the sandwiches directly in there. I wish there was an easier way. Maybe somebody else knows better than I do um, to just kind of slide them back into the box or maybe I shouldn't have rebuilt the box aha uh -huh. that might have been smart if I didn't rebuild the box right away I could just put them on top of the flat box and then build the box around them but whatever this worked too just take them one by one two by two and place them back into the original box and put them in the fridge for when you're ready to use them Okay, I am back from the store and our little ham and cheese um, lunch sandwiches are pre-made and ready for this week. And I might make some more if the boys really like them um, that we can eat in the car on the road trip this at the end of this week. So anyways, yeah, it's been an interesting day. Do you ever have that day where you just feel like 
God is talking to you all day long. Um, I know that happens to me and that's like what kind of day today was. So I woke up this morning involuntarily um, around 6 or 6.30 because Joshua woke up early. It might have even been earlier than that. I don't know. Um, he was up, just decided that he is well rested and that's enough sleep for him for the overnight phase. Um, but he did sleep through the night. He's sleeping through the night now. So yay, that is a victory. But yeah, so he got up. So in order, and my middle son Micah had come to the bed early, 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 but <clears throat> that didn't really bother me. So in order to let my husband and Micah get a little bit more rest, I got Joshua, came out of the room and, you know, went into the kitchen, start making my coffee and getting something for him for breakfast and you know while i was doing that i looked at my phone on youtube and there was this minister that i like to listen to um who was doing a prophetic conference and so it was early for me but he lives in a different part of the world so you know it was like perfect timing like they were doing the conference i was up early because of joshua right not a coincidence i don't think so so I started listening to this prophetic word and he's talking about um, the season and the times that we're in. Sorry guys, if you can hear that monster in the background, that is the pool vacuum that's like coming up for air, um, trying to climb up the side of the wall. But anyways, back to the story. So he, start talking, he starts talking about the times and the seasons that we're living in and um, saying that times are not going to get easier. Um, there are difficult times ahead and he's talking about food famines and more inflation, um, economic downfalls and troubles, um, all, kind of, all kinds of things, right? Not good things. So I'm listening to this prophetic word, but, but it's not all doom and gloom because he's saying, if you are in the Lord um, and under his covering, like you will be okay. You will be supernaturally provided for um, all of these things. So there's a, there's a bright side to it. Um, so I was listening to that and I was like, wow, that's interesting. And I don't know if it has anything to do with why we came back here. Um, but there's no coincidences in God and all things work together for the good of them who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. That's what the Bible says. Um, so yeah, so after we listened to that, went to church, like I told you guys, um, and I was at the grocery store. I first went to one store and then I went to a second store to get the rest of the items that I needed that the first store didn't carry. Um, and I was just sitting there at the cash register and the cashier was, you know, checking me out, checking me out of the store. <laughs> and um, he, he was an older gentleman and he was going on and on and on about these um, coffee cakes that I was buying, like how they're so good and so moist and they're his favorite. He eats them as dessert after his dinner and it was like on and on about them. I was like, yeah, they're really good. <laughs> Um, but then when he was, um, wrapping it up and, um, uh, bagging me, bagging all my groceries up, this guy walked behind me and he was, you know, mumbling under his breath and, you know, was visibly irritated about something. And I said, oh, he's not having a good day. And the cashier said to me, these are crazy times that we live in, aren't they? And I said, yeah, they are crazy times that we live in and you know, it's getting crazier, but it's also exciting times. And he said, you know what the good book says? That when times get harder, look up. And when he said that, like his voice was so, I could feel a gentleness. Like I said, this was an older man. I could feel a gentleness and I could feel love and I could feel peace and humility um and calm like all of these things in his voice and it almost brought tears to my eyes because i was like god you've been talking to me all day long about this 
um, about the fact that we are going to go through difficult waters, troubling times, perilous times. Um, but he's with us. He's right here with us and he will provide. And um, it's, it's going to be crazy, but it's going to be exciting. And so, you know, if you are not right with Jesus, um, you want to, you're going to want to get right because the times that are here and that are coming are not going to be fun. Um, and you're going to need, you're going to need something bigger than yourself to help you through it. So I was encouraged today, um, just by how intimate God is and how he wants to commune with his people and does commune with his people. It was, you know, from one thing to the next, it was just like, he's speaking and he's probably speaking to you too, but are you listening? You know, somebody else might have these same experiences that I just described and say, you know, just brush it off as nothing. But if you're listening, um, and you're sensitive to the spirit of God, then you will know my God is talking to me. Um, so it was just a really great day. I'm looking forward to this week. I'm looking forward to um, our great family time and vacation that we're going to be having. And I hope you guys got something out of listening to me and watching this video. And please continue to watch and subscribe. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.